Welcome to Knife Thoughts. This video is going to be my review of this knife, and this is the Civivi Hid. And so this is a new design from Ostap Hell, and it is a folding kitchen knife. So kind of a new thing from Civivi. Now they've done, you know, other kind of similar knives, knives that you might be able to use for food prep and things like that. But this is definitely, in my opinion, designed as a folding kitchen knife. And so why is that? Well, first of all, it's real big. Um, this is not your typical EDC knife. I'll show you it in comparison to the Civivi Elementum. And you can see it's a lot, lot bigger, right? Then I'll show you it in comparison to a Spyderco Military 2, which is considered a big knife, right? The Civivi Hid is a bigger blade for sure. Uh, the handle's probably similar in size, but the blade is much taller, specifically, that's an important thing, and also longer. You get more edge out of the Hid. So definitely a large knife, and uh, the other reason that I say that is because of the design. So specifically, you can see that the edge sits below the handle. And that's not how your typical, you know, folding knife works. Your typical folding knife, the edge either is a little bit above the handle, like so, or pretty much right in line with it. And the problem with that is even in a pinch grip, it's hard to get your typical folding knife's edge down to the cutting surface. You know, you, if you can, you're pretty much just using the tip, like so. So when the hid has a blade where the edge is honestly like an inch below, so if this is your, your grip area here, the edge is almost an inch below or at least half an inch below, you can get that actual heel, the heel of the blade, all the way down to your cutting surface. So you can actually do you know, rolling cuts, um, you know, chopping and things like that because that edge sits so far below the handle. And then, like I say, this is a very, very tall blade. So you're going to get a really nice edge angle or primary grind angle, I should say. So Civivi does an incredible job of their grinds in general. Um, their knives in general are ground really, really nicely for slicing. But this knife in particular with this really tall flat grind should cut really, really nicely. And I found that it did. Um, so it's designed just like a folding kind of Santoku, you might say. Now, I am not an expert on kitchen knives. Um, I use kitchen knives. I have a couple nice kitchen knives, but you know, I'm not an expert. Uh, but to me, I think that this is a really well done folding kitchen knife. It has a couple things that I like. And so first of all, it has a clip because I want to be able to carry the knife. You know, I'm not going to, a folding kitchen knife is something that doesn't really make sense to have at home as your like, you know, normal daily <laughs> kitchen knife, because you might as well just have a fixed blade kitchen knife. So I think it's nice to have a clip on it so you can carry it, maybe have it in your backpack, but organized so that when you're at work or camping or something, you can have it on you and use it for normal tasks also. But additionally, use it for cooking. Um, the other thing that I like here is that it has this coating. Now, there are versions without the coating, uh, I believe, but the coating, I think, just adds a little bit of, of corrosion resistance. It's 14C28N steel, so pretty corrosion resistant as it is, but it doesn't hurt to have that coating just because, you know, you're going to be cutting things that are, you know, have liquid, and so it's nice to have that. You also get a good amount of jimping, so if you're doing more precise cuts, you can have your fingertip on this jimping, as you can see I did use. Uh, and then you also have it down here for your normal cuts, um, pinching, and then if you really need to uh, put some pressure into things. Now, I don't know if this is intentional. I do think that Ostapel uses this type of fuller on you know non-kitchen knife designs, but you could see this as working kind of like the, the divots that some kitchen knives have. Again, I, I don't really know the name of that, but 
working in the same way to make food, particularly like vegetables and things like that, not stick to the blade. Did I necessarily see that in, in any you know significant um, capacity in, in using the knife? No, not really, but you could see it maybe having that effect. Um, now, I like the handle of this. It looks kind of like a modern Santoku handle. Uh, one thing I, I think that it's nice that they have this extra texture up here at the top because you know if you're using a pinch grip which you you often do when you're you know cutting it's nice to have that um one thing though is that when you close this knife because it has such a big blade and has bearings uh, and is a liner lock it comes real real close to the heel of the blade hitting my you know thumb skin you can see that it hit you know Kind of right there at the edge so it's always a little bit scary i try to get my thumb pretty high up in there and close it um just so that it doesn't actually hit my skin and so that that really is is my biggest thing with this is that um i wish that this liner lock was a little higher up you know i get that you could choke up on this but i wish it was a little higher up or even more preferably i wish that this had literally you know any of the several locks that don't require you to have your thumb in the way while the blade is closing. So Civivi does a really, really nice button lock. I think that button lock would have been great for this. While I can see that, you know, maybe food, debris and stuff would get into the button lock and cause issues, I still think it probably would have been a better option. Um, or like a crossbar lock. I don't know that Civivi has ever used a crossbar lock, but that type of lock could have been a good option. Or honestly, even like a, a compression style lock. I don't know if it's something that they can use a different version than, than Spyderco uses, but something along those lines where you don't have to put your thumb in the way. Or rather than having ball bearing pivots, it could have a washer pivot. I actually think that that would be a really good option too. And the reason for that is because while I never really have much issue with stuff getting into uh, ball bearing pivots, it's definitely something that is a possibility more than on a washer uh, knife, a knife with a washer pivot. So, you know, I think that that could have been a good option just to make it a little bit harder for food debris to get into the pivot. Um, and it would probably have made it a little bit less drop closed so you wouldn't have to worry about it hitting your, your thumb skin quite as much. Um, now, of course, it's super well made. So Vivi always, you know, is super consistent and uh, makes their knives really nicely. Um, sorry for the bump there, but uh, it's well centered, as you can see. Uh, locks up super solidly. No forward and back play when locked. No side to side even when unlocked. And as I discussed, very drop close smooth. So very very well made. But I think it would have been better off with. Um, a lock that didn't require your thumb to be in the way of the blade when closing, or washers instead of ball bearings. Now, I've had a couple other folding kitchen knives. Um, I gave a Rough Rider that I had away, uh, and the one that I used the most before getting the hid is this Tacre. Now, if you look at the blade and you see that there's rust, um, the truth is I've put this through the washer quite a few times, the dishwasher. Please don't lambast me for that. It is what it is. Sometimes that's what you got to do, you know, um, and it's all right. It still works fine. Now, this knife has what actually looks like a button lock, but is more like a compression lock. So attached to this button is a part of the liner, and um, it's also very smooth. I do think that this has uh, ball bearings, um, but it's another nice uh, folding kitchen knife that really piqued my interest in the hit. The fact that I've used this knife a lot um, made me interested in the hid, but this knife doesn't have a clip and it's not made, you know, quite as well as the Civivi. Um, I like Tacre knives. I have a couple of them, but Civivi knives are so consistent and so well made. So this is another interesting folding kitchen knife. They do have a larger version that I'm interested in trying out, um, but just kind of a comparison if you maybe have the Tacre size-wise 
to the HID. It's very similar in size. The, the attack ray is actually a little bit bigger, um, but a little bit of a different shape to it. So I have enjoyed getting to check out this Civivi HID. I think it's a really interesting and good folding kitchen knife, and I really appreciate Civivi sending it for me to check out. Make sure if you buy one, you use my discount code, which you can find in the description. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the bell and select all so you know when I post new videos. Check out my website, knifethoughts.com, where I post articles on knives like this, knife-related topics, and subscribe to the email newsletter there. And last but not least, as always, don't forget to go out and do good.